coming into the room clutching the match ball and the man of the match trophy, it must be a pretty special day for you. Yeah, 100%. I, um, it was obviously my first hat trick. Obviously, first of all, I'm glad that we kind of got through to the next round. It was uh, obviously a tough game at the start. We knew that they would have come straight at us. So we had to just manage the game and uh, just do as best as we could in the first half. And I think we did that. In terms of the performance over the 90 minutes, that must be right up there with the best of the season so far? Yeah, without a doubt. I think we applied ourselves really well. Um, like I said, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, but the manager obviously just kept it in us that we had to just keep this unbeaten run going and um, we'll get through to the next round. In the front three of yourself and Luis Alessandro and Mackenzie Heaney, you're all among the goals at the moment as well. There must be a lot of confidence sort of cursing through you now. Yeah, well, I don't, you know, it's, uh, it's it was just a matter of time. Um, obviously me, I've never played with Kenzie or uh, Lou before, um, but we're all gelling now and um, hopefully many more goals to come. You got in behind a lot of times, especially in that first half, it must be a really enjoyable game to be a part of. Yeah, the manager just said, just use your pace. Um, obviously I know I'm a quick player, but you know, if I haven't got the, the, the smarts to you know, know when to run, see when smudges, uh, Martin Smith's playing the balls into those positions, you know, it's just all about me applying myself, knowing the right timing, not being caught offside and uh, mixing well with Kenzie and, and Lou to get into those positions. You mentioned the fact that your first half trick of your career, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means everything, honestly. I've, I've always scored two goals or one goal, but I said to myself, you know, even if I do get one goal, you put it out of your head and go again. And uh, thankfully I got a three goals in the first half. We spoke to John Hunter earlier and he mentioned the speech that he did in the, in the dressing room. Can you get a bit of an insight into what that was like? I just said, we just go on to the next one. Obviously it was, it was a bit of a Sky Sports sort of interview with the boys. The manager just said, you got a few words to say. And I just said, we just go on to the next. Obviously it's, it's football, isn't it? Like you have to always be consistent with it. Um, you can't rest on your last game because that's when obviously um, you just settle. You know what I mean? So we're trying to kick on and, and do the best. And this is what it takes. You mentioned focus on the next game, and that is a massive one away to FC United as well, so there must be a lot of motivation for you going into that one on Tuesday. Yeah, I've never played at FC before, but I heard it's uh, it's a very intimidating ground. You know, you've got loads of fans. Obviously, hopefully we bring a few as well, but the main aim is to get the three points and um, get closer to the main goal. Just fine looking ahead to Monday's draw. We all know that the league is the priority this season, but it'll be one game away from the first round. You must be all really looking forward to seeing who you're going to be against in that fourth qualifying round. Yeah, we're hoping for a big team. Uh, you know, whichever team we do come across, um, I, I'm sure that we're more than capable to, to, to get through to the next round. It's just all about, like I said, applying ourselves and, and making sure we're mentally right for it.